Hello. Today we are going to be making a login for the, your program so that you cannot access the program unless you know the password and the username. First add two text boxes, two buttons and two labels. Put the two text boxes like this, and then put the labels next to them. Put the buttons just underneath them, and resize your form to however you like. Label, put the label one's text as username. And put label two's text as password put button one's text as sign in and put button two's text as cancel so we are just going to take away that and you can name the form whatever you like and put whatever icon you like and in this case we're just going to put a empty icon there and then um then what you're going to do next is um you're going to double click the sign in button and put the code as um if textbox one dot text equals admin and textbox two dot text equals admin path one, then form two dot show. Now then, um, that's going to be form two is going to be, or whatever your, your form name is, is going to be the form that is going to open after you have logged in. So we're just going to put that as hello world. And we're going to put the uh, icon as a blank one again, and then um, just going to put a label saying "Hello World." So, um, but you're it's basically just going to open up any form that you want it to open up after you have put the right login details in. So let's go back to the form one. And then um, um, form two, I mean the second line is going to be um, a little different. Just a little different. And if textbox one dot text equals admin and textbox two dot text equals admin pass one then me dot close so um first it's going to if it is right then it's going to log in and um f show form two and then it's going to close itself um um but is me dot hide and that will just hide it uh, but um, the other forms will stay open so um, double click cancel button and put and put me dot close and then that's it so let's check if this works so here it is admin and admin pass one and then sign in and then it works and that's and that's my tutorial of how to make a login so you have to type in a username and password to view your program